Today I thought I would do a very quick and a very basic video to demonstrate the power of NPM or Node Package Manager and how you can use it with Profound.js. Now Node Package Manager is a repository of open source components or what they call packages and there are hundreds of thousands of packages that are available to you here and they're specifically made to work with Node.js or JavaScript which means they plug right into Profound.js seamlessly. So let's start out with an example. I was actually talking to a customer who was asking me if it was possible to use optical character recognition on an IBM I application. And what I did is I found an NPM package and because of that I was able to build a demo with, it, with just a few lines of code. So here's how this example works. I'm able to drag documents, so documents that are images, JPEG images, something like this, right onto this interface. So let's just take this document for example. And it will do a little bit of analysis. And within a few seconds, it will actually come up with the text that's within this document. Now, once we have the text, we're able to highlight it, copy, paste it, uh, do spell check or grammar check on it. It's text now. It's no longer an image. So if you wanted this capability within your application, you would simply turn to NPM and find the package that you need. Now, when I searched NPM for OCR, Optical Character Recognition, I found lots of packages. And I had to do a little bit of research. And finally, I made a choice. I went with Tesseract.js, which is an open source optical character recognition package built natively in JavaScript. Now, to install this package into my project, I had to go into my folder or my directory and type in the command npm install tesseract.js. This downloads the package from npm and makes it accessible from within my project. Now in this particular case it updated the package but when I first ran it, when I didn't have it to begin with, it actually installed it for me. Once it's installed I'm able to use it within my code. So this is what my code looks like and you can see the first line requires the package. It uses the require line to bring in the functionality of the package into my application. So let's go over how I built the application. I first started by designing a screen and we can see that in the visual designer. The screen itself is very simple. We have an upload widget with an upload response that we named uploaded. That is just a data structure that can tell us how many files were uploaded when the widget is used. And then we have a target directory set to a field named target dir. And we're making sure to rename the uploaded file to a known value of ocrdoc.jpg. Now once the file is processed, the results are placed into an HTML container. And we've bound the HTML property to a field named HTML. So now let's take a look at the rest of the code. Now the first thing that we do is define the display file. And then we set the target directory. This is set to a special value underscore underscore dir name which simply stands for the current project directory. We then keep executing the screen until the user exits. If a file is uploaded, so we're comparing uploaded to a value of one, meaning one file got uploaded, and we set the image path. The image path is set by combining the target directory and the file name. The file name is a hard-coded value of ocr.jpg. And then the next set of lines actually run the Tesseract recognition API. So this line of code right here is taken directly from the Tesseract documentation and it's something that returns a promise. Now a Node.js promise within Profound.js can be executed using pjs.fiber.runpromise and then the results are placed into an object. That object may contain all kinds of information but we're really just interested in the HTML output that we can display to the user. And we take that output and we put it into the HTML container. And that's all there is to it. But I want to talk to you a little bit about integration. Because you can actually call this functionality directly from the IBMI command line just like this. In fact, you can call this from the command line or from any existing ILE program. So thanks to Profound.js, your applications can have any functionality that you can find on NPM, including things like optical character recognition.